This morning, the Minnesota Supreme Court will hear arguments about whether a $15 minimum wage, whether that question should be on the city of Minneapolis ballot in November. Ashley Roberts is working this story. She's in our newsroom today. Ashley. Good morning, Jason. Minneapolis is appealing a ruling from a Hennepin County judge. The city does not want the question on the ballot. The city's attorney says minimum wage is an issue that should be regulated by ordinance, not by a charter amendment. A Hennepin County judge ruled last week that the measure should go to a citywide vote after a group got 20,000 people to sign a petition earlier this year. They want Minneapolis residents to decide in November if the city should increase the minimum wage to $15 an hour for large businesses by 2020 and for small businesses by the year 2022. A large business, by the way, employs more than 500 people. The Minneapolis Downtown Council urged the city to appeal, saying that the judge's ruling creates an expansive and dangerous precedent and opens the door to initiative and referendum style governance in our city. Minneapolis hopes for a quick decision because ballots need to be made for the fall election. Election officials said the latest they can wait is this Friday. Absentee voting begins September 23rd, and the Minnesota Supreme Court will hear this case at 9 o'clock this morning. Jason. Ashley, this city fight in Minneapolis comes after, at the statewide level, the minimum wage was just increased. Yeah, that's right, Jason. Minnesota's minimum wage increases went into effect August 1st. It's now $9.50 for large businesses and $7.75 for small businesses. It's the state's third of three annual minimum wage increases voted into law back in 2014. Long way from 950 to 15 though we'll see what the Supreme Court says today Ashley thank you